Hi, and welcome to this tutorial brought to you by River City Graphics. Uh, sorry for those of you who have been following along with my tutorials. Uh, I didn't get to put one out last week. I was pretty busy. Uh, but this week I have a tutorial for you that is on creating a uh, menu with rollover images in Dreamweaver. So to start off, uh, just click uh, Make a New Document in HTML. And what I'm going to do is just create a table. And one row and one column, 100%. And I don't want a border. So just put that at zero and just click OK. So I'm just going to click inside of this. And to add your rollover image, um, I've already created those in Photoshop. It's just a simple uh, rectangle with some uh, text in it. And what you're going to want to do is come up to this tab right here. Normally it'll say image, but uh, you want to go down to rollover image and just click that. And it's going to prompt you with a box, a dialog box. And what you're going to want to do is just uh, first under image name, just call it whatever the button is. Or you could just leave it as image one, it doesn't really matter. Um, then go down to original image and just click the browse button. <laughs> and as you can see here, I have my uh, images in a folder on my desktop called menu pics. So it's nice to keep those organized. And I have home and I have home over. And since this, is the, since this is the original, I want to click on just the original home one. You can see it's just gray with some white text. And I'm just going to click OK. And then you can go and select your rollover image, which is nice when it's in the same place because it comes up in the same uh, window. And just click uh, Home Over, which is uh, what I named mine, just so that I could distinguish between the two. And this one is just gray with some uh, dark gray text. Uh, text. But um, Normally you're just going like, to want to make it a more subtle change, but uh, I kind of chose something drastic so it shows up well in the video. Um, so I just click OK, and then this box comes up because I haven't saved it yet. Um, but I'll save it here shortly so you can see it in, uh, in action. So this other uh, checkbox right here um, is for preloading the rollover image. And basically, if you have this checked, then this image is going to uh, preload once the page is opened. So uh, your users won't have to actually wait uh, to load the image when they roll over it because that would kind of suck. So uh, just leave that checked. And then the alternate text is, uh, if you watched one of my other videos, it's basically when you put your mouse over it, first of all, it's going to do the rollover, and second of all, it's going to come up with a little box, and it's going to say the text that you type right here. So I'm just going to type in home page. And then you can add a URL here, uh, or you can add it later. So I'm just going to click OK. So now you can see my home button right here. I'm just going to center this. Click on it, and then click the center button. Um, and now I'm just going to add in the other two buttons I have. So just click on this. And then my other button is About and About Original and About Over. And we're just going to call it about. And this one is called store. And store original. And store over. And the alternate text is just going to be store. Or let's make it get uh, stuff here. There you go. So let's click OK. And now I have my three buttons. Uh, so I'm just going to save this as, um, let's save it as menu um, roll over. So that, that says what it is. And then just do a preview in browser. And it's going to come up. And I'm just going to allow that. Um, <laughs> So now you can see that I have my menu, and when I roll over it, it turns from white to dark gray. And when I hold my mouse over it, the little uh, alternate text comes up. So I got home page, and then about, and then get stuff here. So that's kind of nice, but what I kind of want is for it to be defined. Like, what I mean by that is, you can see that it rolls over, but you can't really see where one button ends and one begins. And I kind of just want it to be a little bit more defined, so what we're going to do is add a border. And we're going to use CSS to do that. So just click on one of your images, and then right click and go to CSS styles, and then new. And I'm just going to uh, 
you, you first of all, a box comes up, and uh, you get to put in some options that uh, defines your uh, CSS rule. So I'm just going to click class, and I'm going to label this black border. Um, and then I'm going to do this document only, and just click OK. Now this box is going to come up, and it's going to let you uh, choose some stuff for your um, for your CSS style. And uh, I'm just going to come down to border. And you have these things that say top, right, bottom, left. Don't really mess with that. What I want is the color. And as long as this box uh, right here is checked uh, the same for all, you can uh, just change them all with one thing. And I'm just going to select uh, black, which is uh, six zeros. So just click that and then uh, click OK. But you can see it really didn't do anything because, first of all, I haven't attached the class. Um, so... It still hasn't done anything, but that's because this border needs to be something other than zero. So I'm just going to type one. Now you can see it has changed the border to one, and now there's a black border around it. Um, so you're probably wondering why I didn't just make the border one in the first place. Um, in Dreamweaver, it's it's set as a default at blue, and I didn't really want a blue border. I think the black looks better, so that's why I uh, defined a CSS style for it. Um, so now once you have that style made, it's really easy to apply to the other ones. So you just click on your other buttons, and then do class, and then black border, and then set the border to 1. And as you can see, it has added that. So I'm going to set the border to 1, and do black border. And now it is more defined. I'm going to save it, and then preview it in the browser. And just allow that. And now you can see that they're a little more defined. Um, you can tell where each one starts and where each one ends. So uh, it's a little bit nicer. Um, so that's pretty much uh, all I have for you guys on the simple menu. Um, oh wait, except there's one more thing you can actually do. Uh, if you want to link your buttons, uh, what you're going to want to do is since each one of these is like it's two images made into one. So uh, it makes it really easy to add a link. You just go down to here uh, where it says link, and you can actually link it to another page. Like uh, if I was linking this home page uh, on an actual website, I would either drag this this little arrow thing over to one of these files, or I would just click on this border uh, or this uh, this little folder thing and uh, open up my 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 file, and it would link it there. Um, so it would be like index.html would be the link for that one or about.html for that one and you can find it with this little folder here uh, but say you wanted to link it to a uh, website um, like I said in one of my previous tutorials you have to have the HTTP colon forward slash forward slash and then put in the uh, the URL or else it will not actually work it'll try and find it on your site um, and not actually uh, on the web. So I just typed in my uh, YouTube channel there. So now if we save it, first I have to click on something else because it's weird like that. Um, so just click Preview in Browser and Internet Explorer. Uh, window comes up and just allow that again. Um, and when I click About Page, which is what I set for uh, for my YouTube page, it'll come up and comes up in its own uh, window, so that's nice. My users won't be directed off of the website, if this was actually a website. And you can see my YouTube page right here. So, so that's how you uh, link it to another, uh, another website. And there you go. So that's how you create a simple uh, menu with uh, rollover images in Dreamweaver. Uh, so what I want you guys to do is uh, make sure you subscribe, rate, and comment because I'll have a video out uh, every week, and uh, I'll see you next week. Thanks.